you pack life. Welcome to episode 41 of the Pack Life Podcast. I'm your host, Bruiser Carter, along with family. We have on this beautiful Thanksgiving evening, Lil B to my left in his Julio Jones jersey. Happy Thanksgiving. And we have C- Carter to my right in his Drew Goat jersey. Cut through. Gentlemen, how you guys doing? Doing good, man. How you doing? Well, it's funny that he has on the former best wide receiver jersey, and you got on the best wide receiver jersey. Talk about it. Former is still the best. Is I mean, he? Is he? Just look at it by the numbers. I mean, how many catches he got to get to over a thousand? Okay, and Julio only has sixty-five catches with nine fifty. He so. said he dropping knowledge. He's not even paying attention. So. Who cares what that see? Um, want to happy Thanksgiving to the audience. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for tuning in. You know what's it? Happy Thanksgiving to the audience. You want to say it? Say it again. Happy Thanksgiving to the audience. Oh, boy, dear. My boy, oh, I don't right. like the vibes right now, bro. I don't need to get off your phone. I'm doing something for the podcast. No, you're not. Uh, you know, I'm thankful for you guys, man. We started this back in January. Our anniversary is almost around next year. You know it, you know it, you know it. It was just, you know, yeah. I didn't think it would be this far. And look at us now. Who would have thought? Look, not me. Not me. Got a white table, got three mics, computer, yeah. headphones. Going at it every Two Thursday. cameras, quality every, cameras. Every Thursday. Every got Thursday. lights. Every Thursday. You know, I'm proud of you guys. I'm thankful. Thankful to be here. Thankful. Yes, sir. And cuts not. He never does. Uh, what you want to start with? What was your biggest takeaway of last week? Anything sports or music, whatever. Biggest takeaway. Biggest takeaway. Um, the Ravens are hot. Nah, Ravens are hot. The video was bad. I'm sorry. I tried to post it, but it didn't come out good. I'm sorry. And I'm glad they played. They played the Rams Monday night. And the, and, the, and the fact the Rams playing them big bucks, and he liked the 30 second in the league. Talking about golf? Yeah. Yeah. They overpay him. It's crazy. They say his contract is similar to how John Wall contract is, how it's bad. And then Gurley, he like 20 or something in the league. And what, yards per game? Yeah. And yeah. Then and then Cooks, they, like yep. 60 first or something. They still got to play Ramsey. Rams are in trouble. They're in trouble. Cut. Yeah. What is your biggest takeaway? Sports, music, anything from last week? Biggest takeaway. Golden's a dumbass. Golding's dumb, and Lamar Jackson's MVP. Those are my two takeaways from last week. Sports and music. There you go. Not Lecrae. Did I say Lecrae? I mean Golding. I'm so sorry if I said Lecrae. You didn't say Lecrae. Okay. Uh, my biggest takeaway, man, I'm, I know what the college football players are doing. I know what the committee's doing. Jig is up. Oh, yeah. They want OSU to be number one seed, so the SC, so LSU won't play Bama in the first round. They want Bama and LSU to meet in the championship if they do meet. So they would rather OSU What's play Bama first Bama, than Clemson play LSU. What's up with the Bama? Round. What you mean, Bama? Bama gonna make it when LSU be UGA. They not beating UGA. What are you talking about? We got to go through this every week, bro. Every week. I don't know why you got so much faith in UGA. The boys are sorry. You, you said yourself it's the worst UGA team in years. I said quarterback. No, you said team too. Quarterback. You don't, watch, you don't go rewatch the podcast. I do. It's quarterback. It's the quarterback. <laughs> we still never gave up Justin Fields, but we still good with from. He's been delivering lately. So Yeah, okay. Against. Yeah. No competition. What's no. me? A&M? No count. We're we going we to show you how to be a and Saturday. Y'all might lose. Yeah. <laughs> Even if we lose, we still in. That's crazy. That's good leverage to have. That means then when Georgia beats y'all, y'all all right. Mm. Mm. You thinking, in what world will LSU lose two games back to back? What you mean? In what world? This world. Oh, okay. <laughs> we living in a different world. Okay, let, let's start. Let's start our picks for week 12. We're watching the Thanksgiving games in progress right now. Uh, Bears versus Lions. I don't know what the spread was. B picked the Bears. I picked the Bears. And I assume you picked the Bears as well. I Man, looking too good right now. Why do we keep putting faith in Trubisky? I didn't. I just put I put faith in the defense and Matthew yeah, Stafford not playing. The defense. And the third string quarterback lighting the Bears up. It's not, even, it's not even playing. Driscoll. It's not even old Driscoll, man. Who is this guy? I don't even know, brother. We have Marvin Jones got a touchdown. Godley got a touchdown. 
But I bench my And Bo Scarborough from Alabama going crazy. I don't know. Crazy. Line up. This is the second game. Second game. We got the Bills at uh, Dallas. Let's look at the spread. The like Cowboys the are a six and a half point favorite. I like the Bills. I like the Bills too. I do too, but I don't think I picked them. What's wrong with the Cowboys? I know y'all want y'all the not reason, high I'm on scared Dak. to pick them because they're at home. I know you're not high on Dak and everything, but this team had expectations to Jason get to the next round of the playoffs, and they they have it. They they may potentially miss the playoffs if the Eagles get right. I picked the Bills, so we all, we all, we all picked the Bills. Clean sweet. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with the Cowboys? Jason Garrett. Should they should they fire Jason Garrett? Coaching staff. The whole coaching staff. Really? Ain't nothing working really, but the defense. Jerry Jones need to be a coach. Jerry Jones would not. They need a coach. new offensive scheme. Cause they really know what they come in the game and try to do: run, try to get Zeke's seat Ze- 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 going, and then boom, Amari Cooper with a look slant pass touchdown or something. <laughs> so you think they should fire Jason Garrett? If they hire me, yeah. I don't like to wish nobody get fired, and that's his son-in-law, so he probably not getting fired. Hey, son-in-law, uh-huh. I thought that was Romo. Mm, I thought it was Jason Garrett. I thought it was Romo. No, more. I think it's Jason Romo. Garrett. You should look it up. Uh, I don't know. They may fire him, bro. He said, because he's like family, but the next coach they bring in, I don't know if they're going to have Jerry Jones will have the type of control he has over the next coach like he has over Jason Garrett. Because the next coach might be want to implement some things, and if him and Jerry clash, that potential coach may not get there. I heard there may get Josh McDaniels or promote Chris Richard, their, uh, this defensive back coach. But I'm just, this team needs a spark. This team is too. T- I know y- y- y'all not how Dak like I've been saying, but this team is, is talented at the end of the day. Uh, Jalen Smith, Leighton Van Der Esch, Demarcus Lawrence. That's on the defense. Byron Jones, and they got Dak Cooper, Zeke. The O line is considered still one of the top ones in the NFL. So, they, you, do you think the Cowboys are underperforming? Don't don't speak at once. I'm trying to figure out who is this man married to. That's not it's Romo, bro. Romo is the son-in-law. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, y'all, y'all not, y'all you not. always want to prove somebody wrong, and I'm proving you wrong. Well, we're being goofy today. Okay, I like it. Why would Jason Garrett always have be his son-in-law? <laughs> who 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 he gonna be married to? Okay, fine. I'll get in. I'll I'll help Derek look it up. Boy, none of them they son-in-law. They would just be saying that shit on TV. It's just not important anyway. And y'all weren't, weren't paying attention. So, we'll go to the Thursday night football game. Saints versus Falcons. The Saints are a six and a half point favorite. Who are you taking? Falcons. Why you got the Falcons? Because they beat them in New Orleans. They're going to beat them in the dome. So, <clears throat> after the game, we eat the turkey legs. <laughs> Even if Julio don't play. Yeah. But Julio gonna play. Marshawn gonna be playing. You know that's Julio Kryptonite. No, it ain't. It's then it's Calvin really gonna go off. Stop it. You live from that one clamps. No. Don't forget. I got the Saints winning. It will be a bounce back game. Not a bounce back game. This will be like a statement game, I guess. We're just going there and mess them over. I, I expect a big game from Kamara. I think in the later half of the season that Kamara's gonna come on strong because he in the first half of the season he's really been quiet except for a couple of games. So I think he's going to get ready for his playoff run by having an outstanding performance to close out November and finish out December with a pivotal game in uh, San Francisco looming next week. Saints or Falcons? <laughs> Jets versus Bengals. The Jets are a three-point favorite. I mean, yeah, the Jets are a three-point favorite. You taking Clay Sweet? Who they play? Jets versus Bengals. It's in Cincinnati. Oh, yeah. Jets. Jets as well. You got... Who you got? Jets and... Jets and Bengals. God I damn, have... pay attention. I'm, I'm trying to do research. No, my, nobody yeah. care about that. I don't think it's none of them, bro. And I got a Jets, bro. What the hell? Why you asking me dumb questions? And it, skip picks like that. I don't know. Are you on a podcast? You're not going to do what we I don't do. know why we started so late. When I was mentally prepared for this, when I came out of my dressing room, I was ready at 12 o'clock. It is now 4 o'clock, and I'm a little Street off 30. the goose right now. Y'all was on your damn phone. Put that down. Shut up. I cracked my phone. You gonna pay for the screen to get fixed? And I'll put, I put it down. <laughs> you the reason they cracked the first time. It's not. I'm not. Titans versus Colts. The Colts are a two-point favorite. Okay, they, they're not related to them. Anymore. I like the Titans. You say who? 
I like the Titans too, bro. I got the Colts. Oh, Why you got the Colts? I like the black quarterback over Tannehill. It's always race with you people. Oh, I'm sorry. Edit that out. <laughs> like I, mm. Not like the Titans. The Titans are playing good ball recently. Ryan Tannehill has been a great quarterback after overtaking. Great. He's been great. Yeah, he's been the good with them. He's been good. Good is fine. Great. Mm-hmm. They've been winning with Tannehill. And they're, they're at, the, uh, the, the Colts are at home. What does that mean? This Titans team has been playing lights out with Tannehill. Derrick Henry been coming on strong. And they're making that push to potentially win the AFC South, even though I don't think they can It's always the what you want and what you think. Eagles versus Dolphins. The Eagles, the Eagles are a 10 point favorite. Sweet. Is it? Eagles. Is it? Yes, fly bro. Eagles. Fly, I don't think the Eagles because I'm fly, smart on my picks, fly, but fly, fly, the Eagles are sorry. Fly, Not sorry. They've been playing horrible football this season, though. No receivers. That's an excuse. No receivers. He gets, paid, excuse. he gets paid too much money for that excuse. You don't Drew, have Drew don't make that excuse. Hundred million dollar man, you don't get that excuse. He don't got the weapon. Drew don't make that excuse. What weapon? The receivers, bro. All them, all them banged up, bro. That's Drew don't make that excuse. Mm-hmm. That's an excuse. No, it is. Not. I saw you. I saw you. I, I tagged you on Twitter. Over through uh, Miles Sanders out the backfield. Mm-hmm. Now you know that was the win, man. It was windy. All these excuses for Carson Wentz. It's crazy. It was windy. He has not been worth that contract at all. The reason they signed him over Foles because because it's due to his youth. Because if they, if Foles was the same age as Carson, they were probably stuck with Foles. He was the mean, better he leader was in that good locker room before like them injuries and stuff. Bro. Injuries are part of football. Okay, but he was great. Brady tore his ACL. Did. Look at him now. Breeze okay. broke a uh, silver wrong with his shoulder. Bad, bad year receivers. Deshaun Watts tore his ACL. Look at him now. Bad year receivers right now with Carson. That's an excuse. I'm not hearing that. I'm Ooh. sorry. I'm not. It's not an excuse. It is an excuse. It's not. How is it not? Because, I mean, he had chemistry with them, and then once they Tom got hurt. Tom Brady is playing with only Julian Edelman. No. Nikhil Harry. Um, a rookie. Exactly. Who, who's uh, been hurt top, for eight weeks? Rookie. Who's been hurt for like majority of the season? Okay, but he's a top rookie. He's Carson Wentz has Ertz and Goddard. Who's better, Ertz or Edelman? Edelman. I mean, who's better, Ertz or Edelman? Edelman. Derek. 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 Yes, sir. <laughs> who's better, Ertz or Edelman? Ertz. What is he talking about? It's Edelman. In what world? What I'm saying receiving, right? He, er, Edelman is not a better receiver than Zach Ertz. I'll see this is why I don't be listening. <laughs> oh, and why he not though? Edelman get them. Why the, why the Patriots aren't good then? Why the Patriots need another receiver? They desperately need another receiver. They just like the Saints, but we in a better situation than them because we got Michael Thomas and Jerry Cook and Kamara. They have nobody. Edelman. Them he is not that good. He's a <laughs> slot receiver. That's you know how easy it is to guard a slot receiver when you got good players. But you can't in guard the... him. Is what I'm saying. Who can? <laughs> really, nobody can. He, get he ain't them, been doing nothing. He get them them good yards, bro. Like when they need him. Page, you need a tight end and a receiver. How do we get 41 episodes in? That's crazy. Brandon's speaking his mom saying. Is he not picking up my voice? Uh, it is. When it wants to. Me and Trippy Red on the thing do this whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm just making sure. Packers versus Giants. The Packers are a six and a half point favorite. Clean sweep. Sweet. Yeah. Browns versus Steelers. No, no, uh. Sweet. No, uh, what's his Sweet. face? Miles Garrett. Sweet. I got the Browns. Sweet. Browns are a two point favorite. Browns. Browns, 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 Browns. No, I got Steelers, bro. Steelers. Defense. Defense, I'm serious. Who is this guy? Oh, Braun Strowman. You said the Steelers got a good defense. Yeah. The Browns are playing lights out, though. Bro, I, I can't play the Dolphins. Is a and they already beat Pittsburgh two weeks ago. I got the Steelers. The boy Brandon said, "I don't care about my picks. I don't care." Redskins versus Panthers. The Panthers are a ten point favorite. Panthers. The man was not hurt. I'm yeah. sorry. What was it again? Panthers or Redskins? Panthers are a ten point favorite. Panthers. Are we sure? Yeah. Dwayne Kyle. Haskins come off his first career win as a starting quarterback. Kyle Allen doesn't look bad at all to me. Play the Saints. I know I'm message. Uh, the over under is thirty nine and a half points, so I think it's gonna be a low scoring game. Potentially it will be, but McCaffrey has been a dog, so I'm gonna take the Panthers. Buccaneers versus Jaguars. The Buccaneers are a one and a half point favorite. You got the Bucks. I got the Bucks too. Jags. Why I got the Jags? Cause I've been picking them for the last couple weeks and they've been they've been failing me, but this week I think they won't. Why Cause I don't mind a division team losing. Why, why, why you got the Bucks? I see nobody stopping Chris Godwin, Mike Evans, AJ Bouye, and DJ Hayden and company. 
Bro, they're better than them. <laughs> and Jameis, even though he'll give you one or two picks, but he's still gonna be slanging. So who on, who gonna guard DJ Chalkin and stop Leonard on eighteen? Well, they could probably slow Leonard down. They won't stop him. Bro, they got a good rush defense, but passing, what are they gonna do? But they good. But watch they win. <laughs> I mean, that's not an analysis, <laughs> 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 sir. The Buccaneers defense. You said DJ Chark, right? I mean, they, that's one player. They have a decent receiver. I mean, I mean, okay, he probably gets some that game. You know, his little uh, hundred yards, one touchdown. But at the end of the day, sir, that's not gonna be enough to beat the Bucks team. So why isn't it? Um, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, two top five receivers in the league right now. And, and yards, that's it. And they're Jameis, not, they're not two top five receivers. They're two top five <laughs> receiving yards. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh. My fault for not being specific. Who number sir. one? Okay, Michael Thomas. All right, uh, but who two and three? Them two. That's what I'm saying. Okay. And then you got Jameis, top three in the league in passing yards. All they do is throw. They're always down. Okay. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. They're gonna get what they get, and that's why they, it's gonna I, be I like high AJ score. AJ Bouye lock somebody up, so the other one, nah. somebody not gonna eat. Nah. Everybody not eating this week. Then they who they then they just lose last week. Who? Jack. Yeah. Who they lost to? The Titans. Oh. The Titans are better than the Bucks. Oh. Way better than the Bucks. <laughs> oh. And they didn't beat them throw oh. they didn't beat them throwing the ball. Yeah. They beat them running the ball. Hello? No, they did. He just throwing it. I did. Show goes on. Tell her I'm coming up there Saturday. I'm, I'm hungry. My brother said he's gonna come up there uh Saturday. Saturday, he hungry. Oh tomorrow. Or tomorrow. Tell her yeah, that's fine. Tell her cause we don't eat. Yeah, I fix your team. Tell her we don't eat. Yeah, I fix your team. Tell her we don't eat. We don't eat, Shim. My brother said we don't. Mess my teeth, huh? My brother said we don't eat. Y'all gonna eat? Yeah, we... you need to come over here. We got some fried chicken. I know y'all asked for some fried chicken. <laughs> yeah, Mimo, Mimo, Mimo out of town, so my mama called herself cooking little portions. Yeah, get fried. I got some fried chicken. I got some chicken dumplings. I got lemon peppers for you. I got some. Got don't worry, pepper. come on. Is that tomorrow? Yeah, I'm going to come tomorrow. Okay. Don't bring that with you that I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I got to go. All right. So tell All right. Funny. 49ers versus Ravens, the game of the week. <laughs> the Ravens are a five and a half point favorite. Who are we taking? 49ers. Oh, really? I'm taking Tell me why before I tell you my pick. Mm. Girl, I feel you like you gotta go back and forth with this man with this bullshit analysis. This man just naming random stuff to pick. Random? How, how is it? You know they ain't about to beat the Ravens. Why mm. not? The defense. Lamar, Mark Ingram, mm. Marlon Humphrey, mm. Marcus Peters, mm. Jimmy Smith, mm. Earl Thomas, mm. Mark Andrews, mm. Nick Ball, mm. Hayden Hurst, mm. RG3. Mm. They all gonna play. <laughs> say, say what you want about RG3. He got in the game. Didn't he score last week? Or he, no. He handed off a touchdown? I thought he was doing one. I thought he played. He might have been doing one. It was in garbage, in garbage time, time oh, bro. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. We don't get to say that. Who's stopping them? Only one team can beat the Ravens right now. Nick Bosa. Two teams. Nick Bosa. You think Lamar cares about a Nick Bosa? I mean, the <laughs> pad, the pass rush they got D4 on them. You rush them, and he's going to break. You can't Bro, rush him normally. Richard Sherman. You can't just pass rush him. Bro. You got to contain him. And they gonna contain them. This defense gonna be ready, bro. They number one in the league for a reason. Hollywood gonna have a touchdown. It's gonna be sure. a good game for sure. I don't know if it's gonna be good. I hope they blow them It's out. in Baltimore though, so I'm gonna pick the Ravens to win this game. Like you said, time difference matters now. So you think it matters because your Raiders lost? Oh, is it gonna be cold? It's gonna be cold. I'm not talking. And I just you're not talking to me. I'm talking right to you, here, but boy. I'm not talking to you though, bro. It don't matter. I, but did I did I ask? Look up the weather then. Don't ask. I'm asking him. Hey Siri, is it gonna be cold in Baltimore this weekend? Let her tell me that. It's in Atlanta. It ain't listen. Okay, then. But you ask your phone. <laughs> Dumb ass, you got an iPhone. I'm asking him. No, I, and, I, and, I'm answering, right here. and I'm answering. I got the Ravens winning. I think Lamar is going to continue his MVP campaign. I just think Garoppolo is going to mess up. I'm not I'm not sold on him yet. And I just See, think the Ravens are going to win That's the problem. Game. Y'all not believing in Jimmy G. You have to believe in him. It's not to believe in though. What did he do? What you mean? They, they blew out Green he Bay. He's a top 10 quarterback. Then they just beat Green Bay. They blew out Green Bay. And how many points they held them to? Eight. Oh, who? They blew out Green Bay because, but he wasn't the reason why they won that game. So, that defense was the reason why they won. Exactly, and the defense is going to contain But the, the, the reason they stop Rodgers like that is because Rodgers doesn't have mobility. While Rodgers. Rodgers got, got some mobility. 
But not like Lamar, though. Are you right? Because Rodgers, like, dance around. Lamar not going to sit there and wait till the pocket collapse. He's going to find a way out. And you know, he's going to outrun your spy, too. So, I mean, at the end of the day, Lamar really going to get his. Yeah. Right. And I don't, I don't trust the offense. But what I'm saying is, well, at the end of the day, but, the Fort Knight is going to win. Uh-huh. So. <laughs> It good. Shout out to Lamar Jackson, 96 he made Madden. Like the Ravens defense in the yes. I'm not making sure. Sir. But I feel like Jimmy G and company, I don't think nobody on there can stop Kittle. Even Earl Thomas can't stop Kittle. You got Earl. So. Tony Jefferson, is he back? I don't think he's back. Please. They're not even full strength, bro. Relax. How we feel about um Earl Thomas saying that Ravens are going, they, he guaranteed the Ravens going to the Super Bowl? He said I mean, that? He, he shouldn't said that. say that. They can't beat the Chiefs what? at home. Nah, they can beat the Chiefs. They haven't. They, they haven't. Can't beat they haven't. They can't beat Brady. They didn't have Peters. They, they didn't have Peters in them. They though. haven't beat them. And Lamar wasn't playing like this. Again, they haven't beat them yet. It's still up. They're still up for the debate. They haven't and beat Chiefs them yet. Chiefs might lose first round, man. They gotta, they gotta see Oakland. You know it. <laughs> and we're gonna win see. too. Yeah, we about to win. That's, that was the next game, actually. Raiders versus Chiefs. The Chiefs are a 10-point favorite. Raiders. 10-point favorite. <laughs> Raiders. You're not on a Falcons jersey, and you're on a Ravens ban- Raiders, Raiders bandwagon. Raiders. You want to bet on this game? Why would it, bro? Yeah. Don't ask me nothing like that. Bro. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm going with my picks this week, bro. Uh-huh. I don't want to bring uh-huh. gambling into that, bro. That's illegal. Do I? <laughs> I got the, uh, Chiefs by 15 plus. But you crazy. I got <laughs> Oakland by 10. About 10. Yeah, they're gonna win about 10. Um, this is a tough one. I got a Tyreek Hill touchdown, Look, a Travis Kelsey. Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey touchdowns each. Miko, Miko a touchdown. Max Crosby. They Mahomes gonna have 300 year plus yards and, and three, three plus touchdowns. Yards, yards. Who? Josh Jacobs. You can't run on them. Why you can't? You gotta beat them passing. Are you not listening? <laughs> have you not been watching? So you can't beat the Chiefs rushing? No. That's not how you beat them. Watch how we game management this. We we know not to get Mahomes. We 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 we. This this game would would really have been tough for the Rams to beat the Jets, but they. they I'm saying they just got beat by the Jets. Jets. Sam Darnold beat them so bad he went outside. He went out after the game. We wasn't used to that cold, bro. Sam Sam Darnold hooked up with the Jets after the game. We wasn't used to the cold. We wasn't used to the cold, bro. Mm. It's the East Coast. We Mm. weren't used to that one o'clock. We weren't used to that one o'clock Eastern, bro. Yes, it was. It yes, it was, but it was windy and junk. Yeah, I'm gonna we, pick the Chiefs to win. I just trust we'll with it. Andy Reid to win this game, win. and it's at home. Can't see a different team at home, and I think Mahomes will no ball, but the defense will struggle again. Uh, Sunday night football. We got the Patriots versus Texans. The Patriots are a three and a half point favorite. Where is that? In Tech Houston. I know. I still got New England. We got Nook versus uh, Gilmore. Yeah, you finished them now. I got Houston. <laughs> Tell me why you got Houston. I had the Patriots. But I'm going Houston. Why I like Deshaun. Uh, Brady ain't really been showing me much. Turn your mic. I like Deshaun. Brady ain't really been showing me much. Plus, the uh, the Patriots' inconsistency at receiver is a quite big question mark. Yeah. And, like, ooh. And, I'm sorry. It's everybody shot you. Uh... <laughs> I like the, what the Texans are doing on defense. Adding new corners. They got Gary on Conley. Vernon Hargreaves going to probably get acclimated. Got Jonathan Joseph on the outside. So, them corners, them receivers aren't going to be able to do much. The Pages, this is going to be a game where the Pages really have to run the ball. Sonny think it's going to be a Sonny game. But we ne- they don't use Sonny. So. They still got Sonny. But they really need James White. They going to get the passing game going, bro. So why you the Pages? Brady's a winner. He's going to find a way to win regardless. Brady has not been a reason why they've been winning games. I understand. He didn't even throw a touchdown last week. Okay, the defense. And the defense, I'm serious. But people want to talk about Drew Brees. Drew Brees, I'll pass him up. Virginia Drew Brees, he just passed him up. Brady was ahead of him in touchdowns. But he tied, I think. He and Brees was behind because he was hurt. And now Brees already passed him. Uh, I think I'm, I picked the Texans to win this game, even though it's hard to bet against his Patriots. But I think Deshaun Watson always uh, gets up for big moments like these against big quarterbacks. He got up against Mahomes. He didn't get up against Lamar, but that was at B-more. But he's back at home. And Tom Brady, greatest quarterback of all time, comes to your house. I think Deshaun's going to come out and have a show. I think Will Fuller will have a good game. I think Carlos Hyde will have a good game as well. Do you think uh, Stephon Gilmore is the best cornerback in football? You think Carlos Hyde is going to have a good game? Yeah. In the run? Yeah. Nah. Is Stephon Gilmore the best cornerback in football? 
Um, I guess this and season. today. This yeah. season. Okay. I don't know about period. What about okay, who's the best cornerback period in football? You still take Ramsey over? I don't know. I feel like that's a it's not it's not it, it's not as clear as yeah, it used it's to be. Yeah, it's not clear as it used to be and it's not as like consistent. And it's other guys that be stepping up in big games and they just don't talk about them. Mm-hmm. Like people, Jair, Jair, mm-hmm. he's solid. Marlon Humphrey, solid. Marcus Peters, the last two weeks, looked like he the best. That boy said, Jalen, that boy got a pick. Like he'll return. That's a ball he been getting picked. Sure. Yeah, this last, in that new system he in, he been doing great. And people don't talk about Marshawn enough to me. Boy, throw a pick. Game. <laughs> Kiel Watowski. Crazy. But uh, yeah, people don't talk about Marshawn Lattimore enough for me. Because mm. holding Julio to no catches till he went out the game. Holding Mike Evans to zero all across the board. <laughs> all zeros. Like, all zeros. Nah, I feel you, I feel you. All zeros. Okay. Monday night. You saying, he's still in the top five on receiving yards, but he had a whole game where he didn't get he Watch didn't Julio nothing. go out tonight. If he play. If Marshawn don't play, then. Sure. Marshawn, they say he play. Oh. Julio, like oh. I said, about to oh. go off. Monday Night Football. But hope Drew Brees don't bring out that circle button again. <laughs> Boy, y'all just lost to him, bro. Now, I can see if y'all want that game, but y'all, you don't got you no don't room care. to talk, I don't bro. care about none of that. Hey. Right. Line it up, line it up. Uh, Monday Night Football, Vikings versus Seahawks. The Seahawks are a three-point favorite. I got Seahawks. You got, you got Seattle, too? Yes. I got Minnesota. Of course you do. Fit man, Kirk. I do. Yeah. Some of these games be real easy. But y'all be making it more difficult than it gotta be because y'all be trying to overthink. No, but it's always I'm games. Shout like, out this Minnesota team, bro. Shout they out. playing good football. And I these just... boys play on Thursday again next week. Who? Dallas Bears and, Cow- and Cowboys. Oh, yeah. Give them a week off. Who? Yeah. I don't know who to pick. Uh, Vikings Seahawks. I think Vikings. Dalvin Cook has been an exceptional runner, and when the when he's an exceptional runner. That's when the play action game opens up, and that's when Diggs and Thielen and Rudolph do their damage. So I just think it will open up again. I think Russ will have a good football game as well. It's just this Minnesota team, they always play uh, Seattle tough, and I think they're going to play them tough again and beat them in Seattle as the Vikings look to win the NFC North. I know. And those were our Week 13 NFL picks. Well, let's know we were right or wrong. Mm-hmm. All right, the bet. You ready for you to do our power rankings? Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes, yes. Uh, you know the drill. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. Pick out your top seven teams. You listening? You listening? Your top seven teams in football. Was it top seven or eight? eight? Yeah, top eight teams in football. Then after that, we're going to choose. You're going to pick one team that needs to fire their head coach, excluding the Dallas Cowboys. All right. Let's get to it. Let's do it. Our week 13 NFL power rankings. All the teams are off a bye, so we'll give a, each of us will give us our top eight teams in the NFL. Oh, really? I'm going to start with Lil B. Who is your top eight teams in the NFL? Who are your top eight teams in the NFL? Okay. Number one, I got... No, start from eight. Start from eight. Okay. Eight. Eight. Yeah. I got my Raiders. Oakland. Seven. I got Buffalo. Not going to tell us why? Uh, Oakland, you know, six and five. Got a game against the Chiefs. Big one. Big division game. I see D.C. and John Gruden getting the job done. Hopefully things work out well. In Buffalo, I mean, they're just a team that's, I guess, like game managing. I mean, they got a little something, something with Josh Allen. And I like the connection with Josh Allen and John Brown. Okay. And so that's why they seven. Then number six, Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Jones, Devontae Adams. Aaron Rodgers is going to do his, his thing. Aaron Rodgers do Aaron Rodgers' thing. Just kind of double check. So, number five, Seattle. Russell Wilson, the addition of Josh Gordon, you know, offense getting better, and he do his thing. Then the defense, they got, they done got better. So, then, what is it for? Number four. <laughs> New Orleans. 
Wow. Why are we number four? You don't f this. Okay, New Orleans Saints. I mean, <laughs> I like Kamara. And I like. You playing good football. Come on, admit yeah, it. Yeah, y'all just playing good football. I mean, y'all almost. Y'all should have lost to Carolina. He missed the field goal. Joey Sly. I didn't understand it, but. <laughs> Y'all get things done, but defense kind of shaky. So, number three, New England. Defense number one in the league. I expect them to go far still. See them going to the Super Bowl. But Brady need more help on the receiving courts. But they get a the job done. New England always wins. Number two, San Fran. They're fast. Defense, Nick Bosa, Richard Sherman. They have depth. They have speed. Kyle Shanahan has another team on his hands that he can make really special. So, they're a great team. And then number one, Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. They're electrifying. They hot. I don't see nobody stopping Lamar. 96 speed on Madden. <laughs> Beating Vic. He's just doing everything. He's really playing like it's still college right now, to be honest. So, they number one. But, Coaches that got to be fired, Dallas and Jason Garrett. Same stuff every year. You know, I told you don't say Dallas, but okay. I mean, you know it. Same stuff every year. <laughs> they always be like five and six, five and five. Same stuff every year. They don't win. He's not a winner. So it's time for a coach to change. Too many years where they have talent on the team, and they just blow it. Every year. But I feel like the next coach is the Jaguars and Doug Marone. Tell me why. I mean, they had one good season when they went what, to the conference championship. But now it's like it's still not doing nothing. Ain't nothing changing. You need something different. Really, I, I say put Gardner Minshew back in. Cause Foles not getting a job done. <laughs> so yeah, him. I got you. I got you. Cut. Cut. Mm -hmm. Top eight teams. Top eight teams. All right. <clears throat> Ready? Yeah. I had to write a little something. No, I'm playing. No, you didn't. Top eight teams. Number one, the Ravens. I'm start from eight. Oh, why? Where the fun in that? Why, why we start from the best why team? Why I want to build up? I want to go out with a bang. No, start eight. Who now? Five. Don't tell me four, now. Four. Don't count. Three. Two. <laughs> bro, stop acting I'm not like talking to you. Stop <laughs> acting like that. Not talking to you. Like, bro. Can you ask me nicely like an adult? No. Can you come on? No. I'll go there. Yeah, you go. I'm nope. right, going last anyway. I don't know why. Number eight, the Houston Texans. Uh, playing good football. Deshaun Watson and the uh, DeAndre Hopkins, Hopkins connection is back. Beating the Colts to take a, a, a take a commanding lead in the AFC South. Okay. Texas playing good football and they play New England next week as a potential playoff matchup. Number seven, Green Bay. Uh, even though coming off of a a horrendous loss against the 49ers. Green Bay's offense will, st will get it right eventually. They have Aaron Rodgers as the quarterback. And the defense has been playing consider considerably better. However, I think their chance of winning the NFC North is becoming slim due to my number six team, the Minnesota Vikings. This Minnesota team with Kirk Cousins and Dalvin Cook under Mike Zimmer and are playing good football. <clears throat> defense has been playing better, even though the secondary is a bit shaky, but... Like I said, when my picks, when they get the run game going with Cook, the play action game opens up, and that's when Thielen and Diggs get involved. And that's just a, a dangerous thing. Dangerous, they, that's a dangerous thing teams have to game plan for each and every week, stopping Dalvin Cook. And teams try to do it, but some, and they try as hard as they can, but Dalvin Cook still goes off. So Minnesota is my number six team. Number five, this may shock a lot of people, San Francisco. I get it. Their defense has been playing great. Congratulations to them, Richard Sherman, Nick Bosa, and company. Fred Warner, good job. However, they haven't beat a legit quarterback except for Aaron Rodgers last week on on Sunday Night Football. And I don't. And I still don't trust Jimmy Garoppolo as a quarterback. 
even though they blew out the Green Bay, like I said, he wasn't the uh, deciding factor. It was because of that great defense. And I think come playoff time where your defense is struggling, what will your offense do? You're going to try to run the ball? The defense are built to stop the running ball like the Saints, like Minnesota, and teams like that, like Dallas. So we'll see what the Niners do. But they're on my number five team. Number four, mm-hmm. the New England Patriots. <sighs> Uh, the Patriots, you can't bet against them. They're, they're a great team in the NFL, greatest coach of all time, greatest quarterback of all time. But their offensive play has been lackluster this season. Let's keep it a buck. Tom Brady has not looked like himself. He wants to play until he's 45, but it looks like you know he's on his way out now. You see, his season is almost – so he has been having a below-average season as for a quarterback. Only reason they're in my top four is because of that number one defense in the NFL, Stephon Gilmore, Kyle Van Noy, and McCourtney Twins. So, and you can't just bet. When, when playoff time comes in Foxborough, you can't bet against this team. That's a fact. Number wait, three. wait, wait, wait. Can I interrupt real quick? Sure. How the f*** the Vikings in the top eight? How they not? That's favoritism. How? I love it, though. How All journalism you? isn't unbiased, clearly. Did you have a Raiders in yours? He did have a Raiders in his. <laughs> That's not favoritism. Conti- boy, what? How's having the Vikings a favoritism? The- not a bud of Packers. I think they're, I think they're gonna play. They beat them already. No, the Packers beat them week two. So how they about them? They've been playing great football as of late. The Packers have not. That's a fact. That, that, am I lying? Did okay. they get blew out on Sunday night football? Yes or no? I don't know. Back to him. How to rate top eight? Now that's bias. I just that's top eight. Lie. That's the best lie. What you mean? They playing good football? They just lost to the Jets. Okay. <laughs> One loss, but they play KC this week. See, this is why I don't be paying attention. Because when I do pay attention, I start getting mad. <laughs> so, And I start saying crazy stuff. The Raiders aren't top eight. The Raiders aren't even top You think eight. the Bills better than the Vikings? Have they played this year? No, that was last season. They beat them. The Bills beat them, though. Last season. Bro. Yeah, I can go off there. <laughs> That's all they got to go off. My number three team, Seattle Seahawks. Uh, MVP uh, candidate Russell Wilson has been playing great football. And Bobby Wagner, playing great football secondary, has been playing good as well. They they went to Philly last week and beat them in a tough game, even though the offense was a bit sluggish. I think they'll get it right this week in a loss to Minnesota, however. But Russell Wilson as your quarterback, he's one of the clutch quarterbacks in the NFL, so you can't bet against that team no matter what, what matter no matter the odds. <clears throat> Number two, my New Orleans Saints. Uh, the Saints, Drew Brees' bad offense is beginning to get back into its potency with Kamara, with Michael Thomas, getting other receivers involved like Cook, Ginn, Tricon Smith. Marshawn Lattimore is on his way back from his injury as well. This team is gearing up for their Super Bowl run after a devastating loss last season in the conference championship game. We all know about that. The reason they're number two is because it's number one team. And th- the reason they are number two is because the number one team has playing lights out. And there's still some questions on the defensive side of the ball and the play call side of the ball for my Saints, but that's just how objective I am towards them, and I like to keep it a buck. And number one, the Baltimore Ravens. Lamar Jackson. <laughs> Thank you. I'm done. <laughs> oh, I got to do one because Brandon. Team that should fire their head coach. The New York Football Giants. Really, any New York team, the Jets or the uh, Giants, could, head coach would go Adam Gaze or Pat Shermer. Adam Gaze has, playing, has been winning games lately, so quiet, so him getting fired has slowed. But the New York Giants with Pat Shermer, it's time to, it's time to uh, call it quits, as Cut Carter said. Uh, you get rid of Odell because he's a quote-unquote diva. You want to make Saquon Barkley the star of your team. Then you draft Daniel Jones over Dwayne Haskins. Like no, you're 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 you won't be the head coach there for long. I don't trust your abilities to coach. You've been great at NFL prior at, at other stints, but right now with the New York Giants, I don't see you being there for longevity. You'll probably be there next season, then get fired because you're not winning with this current team. The Philly will come back stronger next season. Dallas will be good, and the emergence of Red, the, the emergence of the Washington Redskins, if they get their right head coach, you will probably be last in the division. They need the for the Giant? No. The Redskins? Yeah. They're still going to be fuzzy next season. I know. It, it, it depends what coach they get, though. All right, cut. Am I not speaking English? Hey, yo. <sighs> Mr. Hype, the fans want to see. Got to give them what the people want. All right, tap in. Number 18, the Bills. Why? Because the Bills won more games than I ever thought they could. Simple. Texas, number seven. Why? 
Deshaun Watson. No JJ Watt needed. They really could just trade it. <laughs> they bought him. And the defense is still good without him. Number six, Patriots. They dropped past based on our last rankings. My last rankings are there. Why? They struggling. But they struggling, but still winning. Still only lost what? One game? Two games. One game. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, ooh. Number five. Packers. Aaron Rodgers. They lost to the they struggled and got beat like bad against the Niners, but outside of that, there ain't too many other teams that could beat them. They only could lose to four teams. And the four well, three or four teams. And that's either the divisional team in the Vikings and then everybody else. Oh, that's how they're gonna beat them. I said they only can lose <laughs> to the divisional team in the Vikings because the other teams in the division can't mess with them. And then the three NFC teams that got above them. Niners, number number four. I don't even like Niners. But they've been winning games. I had them on going on a losing streak, but I guess that wasn't going to start this week. That just passed. It's going to start this week coming up when they play the Ravens. But they'll still make the playoffs probably, and I think they'll be a first round. The NFC playoff pitch a lot. Just order at this Number three, mm-hmm. Seahawks. The Seahawks going to win that division. Mm. I heard. Yeah, they're going to win that division. Mm. They're going to win that division. And the Rams are not going to make the playoffs like I said they was. Said the division was going to send two teams at the beginning of the year, and I said Rams and Seahawks. And I'm glad it's not the Rams anymore. It's the Niners and Seahawks. <laughs> Because they don't, the Rams aren't that good. They're over height, quarterback. Ugh, eh, talk about that all day. <laughs> Number two, the Saints. Why? Because we still know how to win games. We struggle, oh. but we still keep, like, we don't, we don't even struggle. We don't lost a division team that we, that knows us the best out of any team in the NFL. Why are we not number one? Why are we not number one? Black man, black man, yeah, that's me. Lamar Jackson, that's why we're not number one. That team is a complete team. Do I think they can beat the Saints in the, in the game? Probably not. But <laughs> right now, they're going crazy because the AFC is weak. You see, it went AFC, NFC, 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 AFC, AFC, AFC. Okay. Mm. That's why. That's Balance. good. That's a good. Put that on your brain. Oh. And the thing about the Ravens is, nine out of ten, they can't beat the uh, Patriots in Foxborough. Anyway, so. It's a different kind that's of thing. Yeah. That's when the table's going to turn. Whoever get home field advantage over there is going to turn uh. Which team should fight their head coach? Which team should fight their head it's, it's coach? Excluding the Cowboys. <laughs> Carolina. What? No, I'm playing. Well, eh, eh, it's not really his fault. No, it's not his fault. They need to fight the OC. The Jaguars can fight Doug Marone. I agree with what Brandon said, even though he's never right about much. Because <laughs> uh, that Jag team has too much talent to be losing to me. Mediocre, mediocre. And another team that can fight their coach is... Come on, say Ron Rivera, bro. Say it with your chest. No, I think the, um, I think the Bengals really could just fight a coach. I don't care. After one season. Yes. <laughs> I've seen. You don't have the people. I've seen people. <laughs> the the coach of the Cardinals got fired last year. That's funny. After one season. First season, and that's two teams. And I mean, other than that, it's pretty much everybody. I guess deserve a fighting chance. Oh. <laughs> I like Dan Quinn as a person. That right now, that's the OC, bro. That's the OC. The defense sucked too to they let the man try. Yeah, the other man start talking. That was called the defense plays, but the, that's the OC though. I'm telling you, bro. Whoever a uh, quarter, a cutter, yeah. cutter, dirt cutter, yeah, yeah, cutter. cutter. Yeah, something gotta give. And I'm trying to think of other teams that just. Oh, I'm mean, Asia other than Jason Gale. Chargers. Nah, they were just in the playoffs last season. But it's not his fault. <laughs> they need a quarterback. They do need a quarterback. And they need Derwin. I thought you said Phillips should keep his job, though. He's a bit. He might need to change the scenery. Go to Tennessee. That'd actually be good for him, probably. We're hiring. <laughs> and those are our week 13 NFL power rankings. At the end of the season, we'll come back with another helmet sec- uh, uh, segment to let you know what we guys think about every NFL, each of our favorite NFL teams. Facts. Now we switch to basketball. I want to give this one. I'm going to give this one to Cut Carter. Cut the- Anthony Davis made his return to New Orleans last night and had a, would you say, dare I say, a career game? Not a career game, but he had a forty piece. Well, it was a season high game. Season yeah. game. I mean, I knew he was going to buy. Describe the emotions, man. I saw. I heard you cheering for the Pelicans, not going for the Lakers. Let us know how you feel. Talking and talking to Mike. I don't feel like we ain't nothing. Sorry. Thanks, I'm going to enjoy myself. 
you ain't ate nothing. <laughs> I'm about to. And I'm preparing. And I just been, bro, mind your business. <laughs> All right. The Pelicans are the Pelicans. They balled. They competed as well as they could they until the fourth quarter when they usually crumble because our coach doesn't know how to coach defense, apparently. He only had maybe a few good defensive sets in the fourth quarter. And, I mean, a lot of that could probably be fixed when they get Zion, but till then, we're going to struggle. Anthony Davis balled, like I said he would. I tweeted that he would get 50, but he ended up getting 41. Um, he's a hooper, so he's going to hoop. Honestly, bro, he was hooping so well, I didn't even know he had 27 in the first uh, half. He had 27 in the first half, like, off straight up, late, like, mid, uh, fadeaways, mid-range fadeaways. And they had Kenrich Williams guarding him, so it was really barbecue chicken, even though, like, they used to work out together last season when Kenrich was a rookie. So him and AD dapped up after the game, and he tried to give him advice, I guess, because he did his best, but he's an animal. He's going to score. Uh, LeBron played like LeBron. LeBron really carried the team. AD was scoring the points, but LeBron was, like, running the team. Uh, Kuzma hit the big buckets to seal the game for them. Uh, Kuzma made comments about we should boo ourselves, our own team, or something. He need to shut the f*** up and mind his business. Uh, I like Kuzma as a player, but apparently he's been talking a lot this season. I don't do the talk. <laughs> mind your business. Uh, AD, I don't. I personally don't have nothing against AD, nor do I feel the need to boo him. I just think uh, it's the way he went about leaving, like with the shirt and stuff. Him wanting to leave made sense. Him wanting to leave made 100% sense. That's all, folks. Yeah, that's the that's what people got an issue with. But him wanting to leave, I'm not mad at him wanting to leave because I would have wanted to leave too. Especially if I'm not from there. <laughs> but I'm from there, so I got different ties and loyalty to the city. Um, And if the Pelicans don't get it right and get the, what they got going on now in order, the niggas we got not going to leave. B.I., Lonzo, Hart, no, Zion. They say they're trying to keep B.I. for a long time. He can't leave. Because we can match whatever he get. But when this is con- that next contract is up, that's what AD did. AD resigned what? Once or twice? Once. Got that mega deal. Yeah, because he was uh, first team and stuff. So he got a mega deal. And after that, because he couldn't opt out anyway. Because it was, uh, you could match after the rookie contract. You could match on what they, whatever they get offered. Mm. So Zion will be back. Zion will be in New Orleans for the next eight years too. And B.I. will be there for probably four more years or whatever it's going to be. And then... What, 80, like 25, 26? When them boys be 25, 26, <laughs> they're going to probably be out of there if they don't get the thing, the shipping order. That's any team, though. Yeah, it is any team. And it's especially any small market team. Yeah. So that's just how it works. I don't get mad, though. It's just, I knew it was coming. I just didn't know it was a matter of when. But I'm glad we got what we got out of that deal because it could have been worse. Uh, But I'm not mad at the Lakers. I love the Lakers. But it's just they need to let us win that game because, honestly, they going to they going to the finals. In my eyes, I got them going to the finals. They going to the finals. Trey White in the LSU. Good boys, go Tigers. Clippers. The Clippers talk is blasphemy. <laughs> it's really blasphemy. Why you say that? They on a seven game win streak. Okay, what the Lakers on? Nine game win streak. Oh, okay. <laughs> the Battle of LA. Let everybody know that. And it's gonna be the Clippers. And the Clippers barely beat the Rockets. They really get wig. They they was wigging. Can you backtrack your Atlanta Hawks going to the playoffs, Hawk? What's our record? Their record? 4 and 14, lost 8 straight. <sighs> it's because John Collins not playing. <sighs> that was an excuse. I mean, do they have a pick the this year? The Suns are without DeAndre Aiden, they 8 and 9. They have a great coach. Monty Williams better than Lloyd Lloyd. Yes, Pierce? it's not even close. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I ain't tripping, though. Mm. Kendrick Nunn said he's the rookie of the year. No. Do you agree? Top two. Nah. Who you like over him? Ja. I like Ja as well. I mean, he hurt right now. Who? Ja. He back up, though. Ja just, yeah, he just, came ja back. just played yesterday. He came back yeah, he in that game. He got hurt. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't miss oh, the game. So yeah, and he, he snatched hurt. Patrick Beverly's ankles. Ja averaging 19 points per game, 6.6 six, 6. 6 assists per game, 1.4 steals. Shooting 41% from the three-pointer. Hooper. Three-pointer. You said yourself that he was going to be the best player out of this draft, I believe, when he when it was coming out. Yeah, he is. He looks like a veteran. Yeah, the, the, like the... But he got to start knowing how to control his body, though. Why keep he telling be, these rookies to control their bodies? Because he be too wild. Like, you got to know like, oh, how to like land. That, not like his weight. No, nah, I'm oh. saying, like, how he landing and stuff like that. He'll get... I mean, he's not even he's big no yet. He's not even that full man strength yet. Like, but he'll get 20. bigger. 
And how how old D Rose when he twelve is yo? D Rose like 24, 23. That's but D Rose game. That's what I'm saying. D Rose wasn't fit like that. D Rose was just a hooper. Right? He wasn't nothing like but he, D Rose was. You didn't wild. see D Rose. Yeah, D Rose but you didn't see D Rose and be like, oh, he uh he built like that. Like D Rose never was like an athletic built person. He just was yes, like. He was. You know what I'm saying? No, but I'm saying he didn't have like the muscle. You know what I'm saying? The frame I'm talking about. I can't think of what the word is. But that's the thing. John Morant's skinny. Like, but he's that thing could pop. He's gonna get bigger. That's what I'm saying. Like Jackson Hayes, small, super small. But he gonna get bigger too. I'm just talking about Trey. Young, look at Trey Young this year. I'm talking about the way he landed. But I'm saying Trey is smaller than Ja was. I know that. And now Trey, he bulked up a little bit. I mean, he's still small, but he could get bigger. So think about job next season, like, cause it'd really be like, I think they say the first two three seasons, on bulking up. Uh-huh. AD was skinny like uh, Jackson Hayes was too. That's why they predicted him to be a, a stud. But um, Lonzo didn't play yesterday either. So Kendrick Nunn is not throwing good either. No. He's second place right now. Like his confidence though. I do. He really he been balling. He came he's, out of nowhere. He from Chicago. He a hooper. He get it out the mud. So uh, I respect it. He really came out of nowhere. Nobody. And he went to that elite. Prestigious high school, Simeon High School in Chicago, where Derrick Rose and uh, what's Daddy, his name? Daddy go there. Who? Daddy uh, go Jabari there. went there. Oh, yeah, no, that's on Jabari. Jabari. And it's um the dude that got killed. Uh, Sheesh. They used to play with Pelicans. No. Uh-huh. Remember when we were talking about Brandon? Who? They made a movie about him. The Hooper that went to Simeon. Went to Simeon. High school in Chicago, where all of them boys went. There's a lot of people. He got killed. He was, he was supposed to be the best one, but he ended up getting killed. Got somber on the, on the viewers. Mm-hmm. Google it, boo. I don't know. Just Google Simeon High School player, elite player. Right. I got it. Ben Wilson? Ben Wilson. Thank you. He's supposed to be that guy. He was born in 67. He's Old. Yeah, there's a story about that though. Uh-oh. Benji Wilson, that's his name. John told me about that story. You know, some real Chicago stuff there. Oh, sheesh. But it's prestigious school like that. Up. Anyways, uh, who's your NBA MVP right now? LeBron James. Who's your NBA MVP right now? Luka Doncic. <laughs> Luka, Luka, Luka. 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 Yeah, yeah, he's Luka. Hard to average 37 points per game. Giannis is having a better year statistically than his MVP season. 31 points per game, 11, I mean 13.7 rebounds, 6 assists, 1.5 steals, 1.4 blocks. Is that better? <laughs> Luke been going off too, 30 points, 10 rebounds, 9.5 assists. Mm-hmm. But this man LeBron, man. Year 17. Year 17. His story is better. The narrative is better. He's been playing. He played every game for the Lakers as well. Unlike that low managing guy in uh in, in the LA Clippers. And he's older. Yeah. older. I feel like he's still in his prime, though. I ain't gonna lie. Who? LeBron? Yeah. It, no, nobody thinks he's not out of his prime. He's been in his prime since he was. <laughs> I mean, he's been in his prime since he came in the league, basically. I mean, he wasn't as good as he is now, but he's more athletic. He just had to learn the game more. Like Miami Heat, LeBron and Lakers, LeBron is not that far fetched from each other. Mm-hmm. They're very similar. Your boy, your boy Melo been balling, putting up points. Let's see, twenty five of night, nineteen last night. He said right. it's not a farewell tour either. I told you. I like man. that. Yeah, that was interesting. I'm like, wow. It's so no All Star game for you. Like, no All Star game for you, then, buddy. I told y'all though. This is like. Basically trying out, bro. Like, cause you know he's going to get on the contender team. Wait, so it's like other other teams. Who cool contenders? I'm saying he's. Oh, cause Portland's struggling. I'm saying right now. I'm saying other contender teams are looking at him. Like that's what I'm saying. So this is his opportunity, and he no, they're not. He doing. Unfortunately, I don't think they are. Tell why they why, not? Tell me why. Cause they tried to blackball him the whole time. Anyway, if he was meant to be on the team, he'd have got on the team. They trying to. They just didn't know. No, they knew. But they now know. they see. The only team that I thought should have got him was the Lakers, but he would have had to come off the bench. Come off the bench? No, he's he not starting, is he? Yes, he is starting. Oh. Yeah, he's starting. He's trying to sell tickets. I don't know what they're doing. Nah, that line of work. Best small for him. I think they need to put him at the three, though. I don't think he need to be at the four. I thought he was at the three. Now they had him running the four. four. But I think when Nurkic come back, I like the idea of Lillard, McCollum, Melo, Nurkic, Whiteside. 
person. What defense is being played? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What are you talking about? Lillard, McCollum, and uh, Melo? I told you to stop playing Melo, bro. All I said was what defense is going to be being played. Like, Melo play defense? Lillard and uh, McCollum play decent defense. They just not, they can't stop defense. five people. So y'all only <laughs> you only you only gonna watch them when you watching five games. Everybody in the NBA is fine. I'm saying, bro, like elite people. Like Dame can guard pretty much pretty well. He got better on defense, but he can't guard Russell or he can't guard. Can you guard Devin Booker? Nobody can. Can you guard uh, De'Aaron Fox? Nope. A buddy of? He guard buddy. Uh, can you guard Donovan Mitchell? Yeah, I think so. maybe not on the drives, but on the wing, yeah. Look at Don- not, uh, not Luka. Yeah, Luka Doncic. You can't guard Luca because Luca Luca's just really a cheat code. He's six eight and can shoot. And he play point. Patrick Beverly. <laughs> Any more Patrick Beverly talking? I'm at the slide. <laughs> I'm aware. Well, last thing I got: college football playoffs. OSU number one. LSU number two. We don't care about the committee, man. Clemson number three. Bama number four. The first two teams out. Number five. Alabama number six. Utah. Takeaways. I don't care. Same. It don't matter well, who we, who they play. But they are trying to set Alabama up to get in. It is a setup for them to get in. I think that Utah may have a chance to get in the playoffs. It's a hunch I have. It's probably won't be, though. I think Utah may jump over Bama, whoever they, if they play Oregon in the Pac-12 championship. And, or I don't know what Oregon ranking, rank is right now, but if it's a good rank and they beat them, I think. No, Oregon, they dropped. Oregon, like, done. they lost two games. 14, 16, 14, or something. 15. Yeah, Oregon not getting that. Utah got to win. They they don't even have a conference championship. I thought the past week they had a conference championship. Did they add one? Yes, yeah, December six at uh, Santa Clara with Levi Stadium. Oh, okay. Oregon versus to be determined. Utah didn't clinch yet. I guess not. Guess not. Nah, they didn't clinch it. They seven and one in conference and USC seven and two. Yeah, they lost to USC. Yeah. So I think if Oregon, I think if Utah beat Oregon, depending on how they beat them, I think they may have a chance to uh, jump over UGA and Bama and get the fourth seed. No, I, I, I think it's, it's unlikely, but I can see that as a possibility. Cause I don't, I don't think the committee want to put Bama in there without Tua. And uh, UJ isn't. I don't think UJ should go because they will get embarrassed if they go as well. So then I think rather than that, see get embarrassed, have the Pac-12 team get embarrassed instead. Just the hunch I have. Right or wrong? Who knows? All right, music news. Music news or entertainment news? What we got? And we talked about the drops that came out last week, right? Yeah. Who had a better album, Melly or uh, Trippy Red? Trippy Red. Trippy. Read it. Shout out Trippy. He said he moved over a hundred units, hundred thousand units. Mm-hmm. Best song off the project? Ooh, that's a tough one. I'm I mean, I'm gonna say "Hate Me" right now. I'm gonna go with a, a young boy. I'm gonna go with "Abandon." Now let's do it. I can't think. I can't sleep. Oh, uh, I can't. I can't. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah. Yeah. I can't go. He called me Sap all he want. I like good music. And when people put no, their it's feelings good, it's good music. in their music, like, woo! You just named it number one because you still going through it. Yeah! Like, not going to do nothing. You don't know my business. <laughs> <laughs> that the best album of November? Lare- but Laray is hard too. Best album of November? And Love Sick. That's the best album of November? What do you got Real feel hard too. Me? Well, and then who, ne- then who needs shit. love? Real feel. Which one is that? Is that the best album in November? I don't know. What else came out in November? Did Young Boy drop November? Oh. Boo the best this beat. I think he did. I don't think he did. Oh, he dropped October. Let's see. He dropped October. Young Boy dropped, yeah, he October. dropped October 11th. Yeah, that's the best in November, I guess. Did Ghetto Gospel drop this year? This month? I think it did. Yep, November first. That's up there. This top three. Summer Walker. Nah. <laughs> nah. Yeah, I give him the best album. Of the year. It's all I've been listening to. You? Me, not the, the year. Album? This month. Best album of the month. 
December, we got one more month. What was the best album so far? We're gonna, now we're going to wait till December. So we're going to wait for that. Yeah. Um, right now, I personally... Come on, Big Sean, drop. I need I like, it. I like it song that he came out with. Bad Fives, Forever. That album? No, it's a song. It's, a song? Oh, it's off the album, though. His album coming out next week. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to listen to it. It's off the album, though. That's a good song. The Weeknd dropped a new song called Heartless. How was it? I like it. People say it's the old weekend. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I it was alright. I think it's like, it's, like it's, it's not it's not his best work, yeah. but it's, it's good for him dropping something. New. It's you can listen to yeah, it. It's though. better than party, but party next door drop. Yeah, I heard it was a two pack of ass. Two packs of. <laughs> I don't know, bro. He got a lot of good songs, so I don't know how he could just. They had Drake on one, and then Drake one wasn't hitting. Yeah, yeah the yeah, loyal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking. I don't know, and like anything, usually, usually anything Drake on, I still. <laughs> like I'm not rocking with it at all. Anything else? Music, entertainment, news. Um. Come on, Brandon, entertainment. Kalani dropped a new song called "You Know What's Up." Talking about YG. I actually like that song. She say and she say his last name in the song. I thought that was funny. It's cute. Um. Yeah, bro. I'm not gonna even cap, bro. I heard that FKA Twigs is straight. People been listening to that, but I don't listen to her, so I ain't listening to that. And um, I hope somebody dropped tomorrow, bro. I'm listening. I need some new music because um, <laughs> I've been listening to Trippy on heavy rotation, and then I listen to Melly like two songs on Melly thing. <laughs> Me too, bro. I mean, I downloaded like six, but I like two of them is like heavy rotation, suicidal, and uh, uh, the, the the gospel song, Wait which is better, so which is and the, which is better than every gospel song on Kanye's album. I go on record saying that. Waiting, Waiting on, you. on you. You probably didn't listen to it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's better than Kanye whole album. Well, I said listen to Kanye album. I listen to it every Sunday, to be honest. Oh, my God. I'm going to be real with y'all. I really do. It's gospel, so. It's church. It took Kanye for to listen to gospel music. New pack life. <laughs> and that, I think he said I listen to it. We can, since since, 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 since it dropped, since it dropped, I'm going to listen to it show, every right Sunday. There. You can end it right there, bitch. We don't even gotta keep. I don't even want to do top five no more. <laughs> I was gonna do top five party next door, but I'm sure y'all don't listen to party next door, and we can just end it. No, no top five this week. It's gonna be party next door. I can't do party next door. So we can end it. I don't have nobody else in mind. Fine, I'll I'll create one. What about a boogie? I can't do that either. Y'all, yeah. I I could do a boogie. I can't. We could do a boogie. No, we can't. I want I want to be a part of it this week. Or we could just, like I said, we can end it. No. I, I, it's time, I guess, we called it quick. We always did so much time on this. I'm about to create something. You Come on, give it to me. Top five tight ends. Top five, no debating. Top five, top five, top five. Sports. Top five tight ends. Um, top five tight ends. In the uh, league right now? Yes. In the league right now? Ertz. Kittle. Kelsey, Austin Hooper, mm. and Mark Andrews. Mm. Fuck with this list. It was hard. It was real hard. I ain't gonna hold you. You probably got the same people, but you're not the same order. Nah, you probably don't. You got Hooper in your top five? Yeah. Austin Hooper? Mark mm-hmm. Andrews? Darren Waller. Andrew. Darren Waller in there, too. I got. You can argue Darren Waller. Jared Cook, and you can argue him as well. What about Evan Ingram? <sighs> Till he got hurt. Hey, Evan Ingram. I don't hear Evan Ingram. Let me take that back. My order go top I five. Got I got five Evan Ingram, four Hooper, three Kelsey, two Ertz, and one Kittle. Yeah, I got Kittle one. He had Ertz one. You got Kittle one? I got Kelsey one. Well, well I guess we all disagree on that. <laughs> <laughs> I got Kelsey, Ertz, Kittle, Andrews, then Hooper. But with Andrews, though, his production be it. It varies. There, but I think Evan Ingram, it, before he... I heard that first time he was going. He was, yeah, he, he was, was the, too. Yeah, I think he was the one of the best. It used to be it used to be hard for me to say who was the best tight end in football. Like two seasons ago with Gronk, it used to be Gronk, Kelsey, then Ertz, er, er, Ertz, and they just cut it off. Yeah, it's like it's like tier one. It's Ertz, Kittle, and Kelsey. Kelsey. And then and then tier, tier two, two is, is Hooper, Cook, Waller, Andrews, Ingram. Ingram. But um, Evan Ingram was coming for that first year though until he got injured. Yeah, and, and um. I think Hawkinson is on the rise. Yeah. I um Hawkinson's on the rise. Ryan Jimmy Graham used to be tier one, now he's tier two. three. He's tier two. I would like low tier two. Yeah. OJ um, 
who I got I wanted to mention about I think the I think the Seahawks do a great got job of finding tight ends. They be making them like Yeah, they look too. great. Yeah. Will Disley was on his way to become like a pro bowler. Yeah, the and then now nah, Hollister, Hollister is looking crazy, crazy yeah. Brandon don't know what we talking about. He battling his ball. He don't care. And then um Oh get Dallas go there is tier three, tier two. Tier three. I think top of tier three. He's on top of tier three. You disrespectful. Oh, up. and Knox guy, the old rookie from Ole Miss, is good. That boy Dag just. <laughs> oh, he ain't catching. Uh, yeah, we can end it. Yeah, Happy man. Thanksgiving. I just got him on Madden. No, oh, and this concludes episode forty-one of the Pack Life. Podcast. Kamara, Dirt, Hopper. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We are available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, and YouTube. Follow us at Pack Life Pod on Twitter and Instagram, or Pack Life Podcast. On Facebook, episode 41 here. We're 40 episodes deep. I'm thankful for the be- to be here with these guys, even though Aww. they could barely stay on topic. You know, I just want to be a little bit sentimental. You know, you know the vibe. Don't talk bad about us on the podcast. You make us look bad. I make y'all look I don't, bad. I don't be off topic. You be, y'all always on your phone. You don't know what I be on. I barely be on my own. I be on it. He be on the 24 I, I on. Nah, Derek, we, we, we started, my boy Derek be like, <laughs> woke up to <laughs> talking about me. Talk. Woo! Woke up to <laughs> talking about me. Every mess with us podcast, talking about me uh visuals gonna Every be up soon podcast, all that gonna be up soon me. i'm gonna try to work on the graphics i, 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 I drop shit show video next week uh, oh uh, we and we're out of here new pack light